Hey guys, welcome to History Behind the Warrior, and today we're going to be talking about Makoto. So prior to her appearance in the Street Fighter series, Makoto trained under her father in Rindo Khan Karate. Now despite being extremely young, she was very talented in the martial art, which in turn led to her having a very kind of competitive yet cocky attitude. If she was fighting someone and believed that she was winning too easily, then she'd actually accuse her opponent of sandbagging her. Now Makoto would train under her father for many years, but unfortunately her father passed away once one day, leaving the dojo without a master and someone to fund it. Now Makoto would approach her brother, as since he was older he would be able to help fund the dojo, with the hopes of restoring the dojo back to its former glory days. But her brother refused, as he now became a businessman and didn't have his heart set on funding a martial arts school. So Makoto by herself would take the opportunity to promote the school as much as she could at the Sin tournament. Now when she entered the tournament she did extremely well, even coming into contacts and battling Fei Long, with the hopes that by fighting him, the publicity of Rindo Khan's reputation would increase. But we don't know whether or not she was defeated during it. But we are aware that she didn't win any money because Seth was killed and Sin was disbanded. So ultimately, she decided to rebuild her father's dojo by hand, doing it the more old-fashioned way. Now at some point during Street Fighter 4 and 3, she develops a rivalry with Ibuki, and she enters the Illuminati's tournament in order to promote her martial art once more. This in fact has proved successful when she fights Ryu. After performing extremely well against him, publicity seemed to swarm her, meaning that she was finally able to make her father proud by promoting his martial art. Now her ending seems to be very semi-canon, where she seems to have defeated everyone, which we know isn't true as Alex won the tournament, but we do see that after the tournament she's gained a massive following, fighting and battling many people, and then taking them in as students. Her brother and grandfather are extremely proud of her, as they know that Makoto can finally rest happy, knowing that she's made her father extremely proud. She is then left in the care of her grandfather, as her brother has to depart on business. But he's 100% certain that even without him, Makoto would continue to have the class grow even beyond what her father had anticipated, bringing her story for the time being to a close. And that's really it for Makoto. She's certainly one of the youngest characters within the franchise, but is certainly a force to be reckoned with. So I would love to see her come back in future installments. But what about you guys? Would you like to see her return? Or do you think her character arc is finally finished? Please put down in the comments below. Also, let me know what you'd like to see next week. I'd also like to let you guys know that we currently have a Patreon page, so feel free to contribute as every penny goes towards this channel. Now, as always, guys, please comment, like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. Please take care, and I'll see you all next time.